From Hollywood. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Tom Likas Show. We are tonight's entertainment. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. It's Likas 101, the on-air, ongoing adult education course. That teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think. All you need to do is call us here at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. Salvador, you're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, man? Not it's much. Salvador. Yeah. How you doing? Doing great. Uh, um, well, the thing that happened to me is that I ended up meeting this girl. Um, I was, it was about a year ago and I didn't really know this girl that well. She, we still mess around and, you know, I, I would always use protection. And one day, you know, she told me that she took, uh, a, a shot, a year, a yearly shot that you could only take up for a year. And I ended up believing her. Wait a um, minute. How long have you been a student here? How long have I been a what? How long have you been a student of Lycus 101? You know what? Um, I recently, recently just started hearing the station, and you know I liked it, and I wish I could have listened to it a little bit before. Because <laughs> you, know, you know, you know, you know, we te- you know, we tell you about that. Never believe what a woman says about birth control. Never. Yes. Yep. And never have sex without a condom, not for any other reason, but so that you don't have to pay money to some chick for the rest of your life. Yeah. Well, now. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. You're screwed. She, she's seven months, man, and I just got to find a way. A way to what? A way to deal with it. Uh, so uh, did you have a question you were calling in about here? Yeah, like, what do you think is the best choice for me to do now? What do you want to do? Start a relationship with a liar? <laughs> nah. So what is, it, what is it you want to do? Um... Well, I hear you show a lot, you know, and you you know I see you give people advice, and you know I'm. I'm I do, sure. but I'm asking you, like, what are the choices? You're asking me what you should do. What are you? Let me give you a choice. One, okay. marry her, a, a complete liar. Two, <laughs> have a relationship with her, a complete liar. Three, pay your child support, which you'll legally be forced to pay anyway. Uh huh. But don't have a relationship with her. I I pick three. Well, that's what I would pick. Three. Pay your pay your bill and uh, be done with it. Now, now, does she want you to get involved in this? Well, I, I don't think so. She's been trying to trying to look for me and stuff like that, and um, you know, she's been trying to look for me all the time and trying to tell me that I need to pay and give her money to buy clothes that she's getting big and all this stuff. And no, you're not just, doing that. No, I'm not. But you are going to get an attorney. Uh, sure. I am. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. And, yes. You know, I'm just trying to trying to see what kind of advice you could give me. Well, first of all, child support is not payable until after a child is born, so you don't owe anything right now. Well, okay. Uh, right around. And also, you're not going to pay. You're going to talk to your attorney. You're going to make sure there's a DNA test to make sure you are the father. Okay. Of course. Of course. That's going to cost you about three hundred and fifty bucks. It'll be the best money you ever spent. <laughs> yep. You understand? And then you're only going to pay her what you are legally required to pay, not a penny more. Okay. You're not going to marry her. You're not going to move in with her. You're not going to live with her. You're not going to date her. You're not going to have sex with her again. (laughs) Of course not. Not anymore. And you're not going to have sex anymore without a condom, you moron. Why did you do that? (laughs) Hey, you know, people make mistakes, and I had to be one of the dumb ones. Yeah, well, you know, again, I keep reminding the boys, uh, women lie. They lie about birth control. Yep. Yep. Not, I can see now. Uh, but well, had you now, been a listener, today, you would have seen it then, too. Yeah. But I would have knew about your show, and I would listen to you all the time, man. Trust me, I wouldn't be in this situation right now. Damn straight you wouldn't be. So uh, that's that's the bottom line. So you're going to tell her, uh, you know, you, that you'll, uh, be only, you'll be talking to your attorney, and whatever your attorney says you have to do, that's what you're going to do. You are not going to be buying clothes for her. You're not going to be paying for the surgery or, uh, you know, if there's a cesarean section, you're not going to pay for uh, prenatal care. You're not paying for any of that stuff. You're not responsible for it. You don't have to pay for it. Okay. Whatever your attorney tells you to do, that's what you do, not not anything more. Okay. All right. 
fan, but I guess, man, that's all I, that's what, that's the only choice I got. Well, well, you did it to yourself, <laughs> man. Hang on a second. Jesse, what did you want to say to Salvador? Hey, I just wanted to make you gave him some great advice, but I just want to tell him uh, make sure you have a DNA test, too. Yeah, I oh, said okay. that. I don't know if you heard it, but I did say it. Oh, okay, I must have called you right before you said it. Yes. Okay. Oh, that's about all I wanted to say. <laughs> yeah, because you never know what kind of slut we're dealing with here. Oh, yeah, I, I hear it all the time. I hear all kinds of things. You know, girls, even married women, I mean... Having kids that uh, aren't their aren't their husbands, so you know you never know. So oh, okay. you are right about that, Jesse. Thank you for the call. Let's say hi to Dave. Dave, what did you want to say to Salvador? Hey, Tom, how you doing? Doing great. Dude, everybody's talking about child support. It's not a big deal. I mean, look at you did the act. You owe the money, okay? But it's not a ton of money. This kid's making two grand a month, and his girlfriend's making sixteen hundred a month at eight bucks an hour or whatever. He's only going to have to pay. One hundred and fifty dollars a month in child support, two hundred bucks. It's nothing. Well, yeah. It's nothing. It's not nothing, and he has to do it. And uh, I would recommend that he do what he's told. But oh, it's but it's not nothing. It's, it's you know, little, when you're nineteen, that's a lot of money. Yeah. And I guess it's perspective. I just look at it and I think, why all the stress? You got to get on with your life. You can't beat yourself up. You made the mistake. Pay the money and move on. All right. And don't make the same mistake again. All right, all right. I'm, oh. I'm telling you, man. Go on up, find a woman who doesn't want a baby, and just and get what you need and go home. With a condom. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I know. I'm just reiterating. Yeah. With yeah. a condom. <laughs> man. Dude, hey, you know, if you don't want to have kids ever, go get a vasectomy. Hell, they're reversible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, for Salvador. Sure happen, for sure that's going to happen next time. Th Salvador, good luck to you. Oh, thanks for that. Thanks for that, Tom. Thanks for the call. Brett is listening to our show online in Sacramento on the Tom Likas Show, Likas 101 with your professor. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hi. I'm calling for uh, the last caller, uh, Santiago. Yes. I was in the same boat. I uh, stumbled once and got a girl pregnant after she lied to me. Uh-huh. Listened to my attorney. Nine months later, I got the notice from the uh, Sacramento County uh, uh, Board for Child Custody and Support. My attorney said, all you can do is sue her back. So I told her I'm taking her baby away from her. And uh, I'm not paying child support or anything. And came down to the point where she knew I was in right. And I took the, so I was going to take the baby away. She dropped her suit. So I was going <laughs> to tell that to the other guy. I finally, uh, and I went through everything from uh, thoughts of suicide to homicide. I my, my world came down. And when you get that notice in the mail, guys, put that rubber on every time. And it's not worth it. But, um had a good attorney, said, oh, your only option is to sue her back, and I did, and she got really upset. She found out I was taking the baby away per state law, and she dropped her case, and I got lucky. I skated that one time in my life. I skated away. You're very lucky. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Thank you, Father. Son, thank you so much for the call. Here we are. It's another edition of Like Is 101. Call me now. Can you attend my class? It is for your own good. I mean, a girl decides how far she's going to let you go in the first five minutes. You in my class? Oh, yeah, I am today. I'm going out with that chick from Kinko's for drinks tonight, man. And, and I know, I know I've got to not have sex with her. No, no, man. you got to not want to have sex with her. Having sex with her is the whole point. Okay, I, I, I've got to not want to have sex with her. Right, right, right. Remember, okay, both men and women want to have sex it's natural except we're on different timetables women want to have sex like you know 15 minutes after us so all right if you hold out for 20 she'll be chasing you for five tom like is 1-800-5800-1-800-5800-8666 it's like is 101 on the tom like is show It's the Tom Likas Show, with fewer commercial breaks, less commercials. Oh, oh, oh. Take the calls faster. We get even more morons on the air per hour than before. It's unbelievable. And we do it all for you. Like is 101. I am your professor here at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-8. 
866 Bill on Lagos 101. Hello. Hey, John. How you doing? Doing great. Love the program. Thank you. I uh, got a question for the professor. I, I subscribed to all the Lycus 101 tenants, but uh, there's one that uh, that I got a question about in forty dollar rule. Here's my here's my question. People can go out for dinner and they can do this and that, but if you just take someone out for drinks and it's all booze, you meet them in a nice happy hour place. It's a nice location, even if the drinks are expensive. If, if you spend more than forty bucks just on booze, is that outlawed too? Yep. Really? By the way, if you go to happy hour, drinks are cheaper in addition to the free food. Can be, but but again, if you're if it's a two hundred dollar bar tab or a hundred fifty dollar bar tab and everyone gets drunk, doesn't that help? You don't. Rate? By the way, you do not want to buy hundred and fifty bucks worth of booze and put it in the chick because she'll be barfing. <laughs> she'll be barfing right out your window on the way home, and she will not have sex with you. So you still stick with the forty dollars? I do. Your average chick takes about three drinks to get hammered. That's it. Uh, hmm. And none of those fourteen dollar martinis either. Really, do that at all, huh? Uh, unless you can have uh, keep her to two. Ah, uh, okay. Well, uh, two will do it, and then you just basically ask for the check and cruise out of there. That's what you want to do. That's your goal. You want to get out of there as fast as possible. You want to talk as little as possible. Spend as little time together where you might be asked questions that she'll use the answers against you later. <laughs> it's okay, what you got to do. All right, I got it. Can you take me out of Lacey Peterson stuff? Yes, I can. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, here's Rosie on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Well, basically, I wanted to comment about the kind of advice that you're giving these guys. Yes. As far as, you know, the whole child support. What about the responsibility of caring for the child? Oh I no, no, no! That. They don't have any responsibility for that, and here's why: because they do. Uh, no, they no. Want, when a woman know, lies to a man, when a woman lies to a man and says, "Oh, don't worry, I'm on birth control," then stays out of touch with him for seven months, then says, "Oh, by the way, I'm seven months pregnant," he doesn't know anything. He doesn't want to be a parent. He doesn't want that responsibility. She lied. She laid it on him. And he has no responsibility. His responsibility is to obey the law, pay you know the what? child support, and get the hell out of there. You know what? True. She lied, and she is responsible for all of that, and she is whatever she is. But the responsibility is still the child. Uh, it's not his responsibility. responsibility. Not his responsibility. It is his responsibility. No, it's when not. Becomes, no, it's not. 17, 16, 18 years old, and he tries to go look for him. Uh, uh, I, I, I have said this on the air, and I will say it to you. If there is any 16 or 17-year-olds out there who think that they are my son or daughter, don't come to my front door. I won't answer. That's you. That's you. What about all these other guys? I mean, Again, I, I, I'm preparing the men for the reality of the future, that, that women today are scandalous, and they will lie and do whatever they have to do to get what they want, We're up to and including they see a guy who, who looks the part, and they want to have a baby with him because he has the right eye color or because he's built right or uh, because uh, the family has money or whatever. And men oh, must no. men must fight this resolutely. They must fight against being dragged into responsibilities they don't want. And I'm telling them how to do it. How does he know he's them? He's just probably just running away because he's a loser. What do you mean? He, she, this woman's been trying to find this guy, and he took the call finally. She wasn't able to find him because it was a one-night stand. And she told him she was on birth control. Well, things do happen. There is that chance. Well, fine. The point is, he he doesn't want to be a parent, and uh, the law says his responsibility is to pay child support. And I'm a loser. That doesn't make him a loser. You know what a loser is? You know what a loser is? It's some pussy whip moron who's there taking care of some other broad's kid that uh, she just happened to get knocked up and didn't tell him about it or lied about her birth control. So she's out at work or out partying while he's babysitting this kid he never wanted in the first place. No, no, no. No, no. Stay away. Don't marry these chicks. Don't move in with these chicks. And definitely do not get involved in the raising of these children. 
Well, he's a loser. Uh, well, you plan. can call him whatever he wants, but you know what? Uh, if all he does is pay child support, uh, financially he'll be better off. Mentally he'll be better off. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't want my life changing. If anybody out there had a kid without my uh, my con- my consent or without my cooperation, uh, I don't want to know about it. Don't want to get involved. But that is a child that isn't going to be a human being. It's and not my problem. Not my child. problem, not his problem. If I, you should, it should be your not, problem. Nope, it's not. Because if I'm telling you somebody, right now, I, if anyone ever knocked on my door and I looked out and they, they said, was somebody claiming to be my kid, I would not let them in. But that's so wrong. I mean, this is the family it that is you created. No, I, no, no, it's a family that someone else created by not uh, using birth control, by not telling me about it, by lying to me about it, by not having an abortion. I say to everybody, every woman I've ever known knows I don't want to have children. You now, when you're telling them from the beginning, I don't want to have children. Right. What, what if it was an accident? So, I, I don't, I don't care. I then have an abortion. See, that's so wrong. Everything you're teaching. Anyone who does any, bad. I tell them right up front. They know what they're in for. They shouldn't be calling you father. They should just be calling you something else because I'm. Oh no, I'm the father. dad they never had. I'm the surrogate father for many men, and I'm here to tell them your responsibility is. Uh, it's written out in California state law, whatever state you live in. Uh, you must pay child support. There's a formula for it. Uh, don't fight it. Don't ignore letters from the county. Always respond. Always get a DNA test to make sure that little slut actually had your baby and not somebody else's. But absolutely, positively, do not break down and become a husband or a parent or a live-in, forget it. Stay away. Just pay your bill and move on. Okay, but you know what? Every Any guy that sleeps with a woman without a condom deserves that responsibility. Well, but, but, he, but guess what? He, you may think he deserves it, but the law says he, he has no responsibility beyond paying the bills. Yeah, but there's a lot of, you know, they will probably won't even pay regardless. I, I tell them to pay. That's all I can do. But uh, do not get involved. Do not go over there and babysit for her while she goes out and find the next sucker. Do not go over there and help out. Do not, not nothing. Do not, uh, do, uh, do not be paying her prenatal bills or any of that crap. Forget it. You know, I totally agree with you. If he he needs to find out if it is his or not. I totally agree with you on that. But if he does find out that it's his, that it's his responsibility. No, it's not. It's, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. As a human being, no, and it's not. His responsibility. Well, it may be a human being, but it's not his responsibility. It's the responsibility of the person who unilaterally decided to create that human being. Well, he was responsible for creating that human Again, being. that woman could have had an abortion. She could have had uh, used morning after pill. She could have done any number of things. Are you 46? There's any number of ways she could have prevented that uh, pregnancy from happening. When you women have babies, it's because they want to have babies and they want to be in the driver's seat. That's what it's all about. <laughs> No, not all women. Yes, I didn't say all, but in, in this particular case, well, the woman was hiding for seven months. Absolutely. That's what he says. That's what he says. He says that's all I can make. I, all I can deal with is what people say. But you know what? That's not right. It's a responsibility. You slept with it. Deal nope. with it. You have to. He is dealing with it. it. He's going to have an attorney, and he's going to make the payments he's required by law to make. He's going to live up to every responsibility he has under the law. But children are, are not about money. It's not all about well, money. Well, yes, they are. Child. Children are an expense. They're a line item expense in my budget. If I had, uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, accidentally ended up with a child and I had an expense, I I would pay what I was responsible for. And then yeah. that's it. I want no other involvement because I don't want to have children. But that's the reason that there's so many wackos out there because they end up without any problems. Not my problem. Of losers like him. With enough money, I can buy 20 acres. I can hide out and all the crazies, the wackos, the children of single mothers will all be kept away from me. Nothing ridiculous about it. I have no Are interest in being a parent. Right? Huh? It's ridiculous. What's ridiculous? That's why kids are so emotionally unstable. I work with children. Well, what, so... what about the what about the women who decide to have children without the consent of the father? You and think they have no responsibility? You think they're not responsible? And then, no, you're absolutely right, but they don't have to have anything to do with the guy, but at least the guy needs to have... Women to unilaterally the make these decisions to have babies without consulting the the, uh, the male. And uh, I'm saying that this is how men should fight back. They should let women know, if you have a baby, all you'll ever get is what I'm required to do by law, and that's it. So think hard, because that's all you're getting. But it's not just his responsibility. He knew. He knew he might Doesn't get matter. pregnant. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He might get her pregnant if she was lying about being uh, on the shot or having birth control. Uh, no. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. He is 100% responsible. 
responsible. If not, he is a No, loser. no. Well, first of all, he can only be 50% responsible because she also is 50% responsible. That's number okay. one. Number I two, agree. he did not want to have a baby. She had a baby and did not, e- <laughs> did not even bother to inform him about it. He should have slept with her to uh, begin with. What, but he what did. Doing doing People do. Again? He did. But again, he will live up to his responsibility under the law. And the law says pay your child support. And he will pay his child support. But that's it. Tom Likes. Tom Likes. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likes Show. Likes 101. Every week at this time. The Tom Likes Show. Now you hear the Tom Likas show six days every week, Saturdays 2 to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, 3 to 8 p.m. as you head home on 97.1 FM Talk. And if you can't hear any of those hours because you're not in L.A. listening to the radio station in L.A., you can hear the rest of the show by going to blowmeuptom.com and clicking on the Listen Live button. But don't forget, it's every Saturday now, 2 to 6 p.m. Like us 101 with your professor. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Heather on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. I'm not sure if you remember, I introduced myself to you uh, and your friend about a month ago at the Kings game. I came down to your seats and said hello. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, It was a pleasure meeting you. Um, I wanted to also let you know that recently I made a bet with a male friend of mine for $100 that he could not 101 stump me and I walked away with his hundred <laughs> and uh, you know another thing talking about what you're talking about I agree with you 99% how many days a week does Maury Povich have on his show uh, that men who are told for a year or a few years that this is their baby and they come on the show do a DNA test and find out it's not even their baby oh you're right about that Okay, that makes me really angry. But one other thing, if a man is dumb enough to not wear a condom, I don't care if the woman tells him she's on every birth control possible. Do you know how many times I've been told that the guy I'm going to have sex with does not have any venereal diseases? Oh, I'm sure. And one out of five people have herpes? So if you're sleeping with somebody without a condom, you're an idiot. I agree. I agree both for men and women. But but again, that's why it's suspicious when a woman says, don't worry about that stinky thing. Take it off. I want to feel you. That's a red flag. Absolutely. And, you know, talking about uh, someone who put Tabasco sauce in a condom when they threw it in the trash. 100% 100% believe in that. Oh, yeah. If you want to, yeah, if you're, if you stoop to that level, you deserve whatever you get. Yes. And what so. you're going to get is, ah! <laughs> exactly. So I'm a huge fan and I look forward to seeing you and your friend at the Kings game and I will say hi again. Thank you, Heather. Thank you. Appreciate the call. It's 1 800 5800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Alex on Like Us 101. Hello. You busy over there, Alex? Hello. Yeah, I, I think he's busy. Jill on the Tom like his show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it hey, going? Good. Good. Um, I was calling about the same topic you guys are on right now, and I'm just sharing my personal story. I have been pregnant. It was with my boyfriend's uh, baby, and I chose not to keep it. I told him, you know, I don't expect any obligation out of you. You know, it was a mistake on both of our parts, but if I choose to keep it, that is my choice. I told him zero obligation, my decision, not yours. If I choose to keep it, that does not tie you to the baby at all. And I ended up deciding that would be a crazy idea for me right now, and I don't want to be tied to anybody for the rest of my life. And if he did come back around wanting to be a part of the kid's life, then I wasn't for that. I'd rather do it on my own and be on my own and... I decided against it. But you know, there's not a lot of women like you. Most women are like the other type, the one that doesn't call you for seven months, then it's too late to have an abortion. Yeah, I told him as soon as I found out, if you wait seven months, you know, as soon as you find out, if you know whose baby it is, you're going to call them and you're going to tell them. If it's seven months later, then I don't think that you either know who the father is and you're just trying to pinpoint it on somebody. And I have heard girls talk, girls, I'm 20 years old, I've heard girls my age talk about how, oh, I love my boyfriend so much, I want him to be in my life forever. 
I'm trying to get pregnant and he doesn't know. I've heard girls. They all scheme it. I know they do. And I'm just sick of it because I'm one of the few that is not down for that. And I can't find a guy that's man enough, <laughs> you know. I, I totally understand. I'll, yeah, tell, I'll so, tell you what, I don't even want to know women's last names, okay? Just in and out. You know, I've had plenty of guys I don't know their last names, and I don't think there's anything wrong with what you're telling these men. I think, you know, laying it out on the line, saying that there's no attachment, I do it all the time. And I know that women do, and they act like it's so wrong when men do it. You know, it's we can all do whatever we want. Good points, Jill. Thank you. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Christopher on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How you doing? Doing great. I got a question about the rules. I follow them all, but next week I'm supposed to take this girl out, and she's 18. Normally it'd be go to the bar and get her liquored up, but I can't exactly do that with an 18-year-old. Right. Well, uh, I would never recommend that you smoke weed. That would be wrong, and uh, I wouldn't suggest I, that. I can't do that because of my job. I'm not. I'm saying I'm not suggesting that. I think that would be uh, just horrible. I was uh, agreeing with you. Sorry. Yes, but uh, yeah, I mean that's uh, certainly a tough one. And what you want to do in that case again is try to keep your meeting as short as possible. Uh, you want to have it at a place that has a bar, so it looks bar like. All right. All right. So, uh, you know, in Southern California, we've got places. I'm sure you've got them in Portland where you are as well. We've got places like El Torito or Macaroni Grill or these places where they uh, – uh, Macaroni Grill is this restaurant chain. Um, yeah, we got it up here too. Okay. So you know what they do? They got a paper tablecloth and people write with a crayon how many uh, glasses of Chianti they've had. Now, hopefully, you wouldn't uh, order a carafe of Chianti and then offer it to your date. That would also be wrong. Right, right. Okay. Don't be doing so, that. So it's still a go if they're under Remember, 21. drink responsibly. Okay? All right. Thanks. Thank, thank you. Imagine if people start going out and giving their 18-year-old date a drink. That would be terrible. Don't be doing that. Especially if you went to a restaurant where they give you a carafe of wine and they have no way of knowing, you know, if you're sharing. Th th that would be just taking advantage of the system. We don't support that. Well, that's disgusting. I agree, darling. I do. I mean, I remember when I first went to one of those macaroni grills and they put that big carafe on the table. I'm thinking, what if my date was 18 years old? It can't drink. What would be stopping somebody from giving wine to a youngster? Terrible. So hopefully he won't be doing that. That would just be wrong. Or if she asks for a sip of your tequila shot, you must resolutely resist. What? Because it's illegal. It's <laughs> just plain wrong. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Likas 101. I am your professor. This is Erica on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Hi. I wanted to comment because, you know, at first I really did not like what you had to say. Um, and I have a boyfriend who is an avid listener. But, you know, the more I listen, the more it, it makes sense to me. And part of it is because my boyfriend's very blunt with me. He's very honest. He already has a child. He had his child when he was only 19 years old. And he tells me, you know what? I am no, I am no, sh in no shape to have another child. I want to finish with my education. And I, I really don't think that I want to have another child. He says, if you get pregnant, if something happens, I'm letting you know right now that I don't want to have any more children. If you do this, you're going to disappoint me. I would expect you to get an abortion. I wouldn't expect for you to expect anything from me. And you know what? I think he has a point. Why? Because he's already told me what he wants. And you know what? If I want to date somebody, if I want to mess around with someone else, if I want to go sleep with someone, I know that I'm on the pill. I know that I need to use a condom. I know that I don't want to have this person's baby just because I want to have sex with them. And just because I want to have sex with them does not mean I want a relationship with them. Women are just like 
men. Women also just want to have sex. Women also just want to engage in sexual intercourse with somebody, maybe be it oral sex or whatever. Sometimes we just want to be pleased. And it would be horrible if it was the other way around and it was the guy that gets pregnant. Oh, my God. What if the guy, you know, what if it was the other way around? What if it wasn't us women that were the ones that got pregnant? But if it, it's just I'll tell you what, you'd be guaranteed that somebody would be taking that pill. Yeah. I mean, I mean really, if I... I've slept with some guys that all I really wanted was to get pleasure from them. I slept with some guys that all I really wanted was just that one night. And I told them that, you know, this is all that I want. But some of these guys have gotten attached to me because, obviously, you know, they've been friends. They've been somebody that I hang out with. Some of these guys have gotten attached. And some of them have actually to told me, oh, I was falling for you or whatever. I'm like, oh, you know, I thought you knew that it was just, you know, sex or it was just, I try to make it obvious. I try to, you know, and I just think, what if, it was the other way around. What if I didn't have that luxury? What if some guy just came up to me and said, you know, and I'm just thinking, you know, I, I mean, it, obviously it can't happen. But what if the guy could actually come to me and say, I'm having your baby and there's nothing you can do about it. I'm sorry, but if you put it there on the table and you say something as a woman, as a woman, you need to take responsibility because it is your body and you do have a choice. And it is the, uh, uh, what is the morning after pill? You can do that. You can get an abortion. You could do different things. Some people have a problem with this ethics, moral and things. But if you do the uh, morning after pill, that's not a problem. If you do the condom, that's, you know, it works 99.9% .9 of the time unless somebody puts holes in it. I think it's really crazy. I think it's pathetic for a woman that wants to have a kid with somebody who does not want to have a kid with her. Well, I agree with you. Thank you for taking a breath. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello to Susie on the Tom Likas show. Likas 101. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. Oh, my God. First of all, I want to tell you that I love listening to you every day. I, I love, love you that. so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I'm calling to tell you my story. I'm a 25-year-old uh, single mother of a 7-year-old. And when my daughter was one, I got into a relationship with this guy, not the father, but another guy. And from the beginning, we told each other if I ended up pregnant, I would get an abortion. We wouldn't, we would not have a child because he already has another kid as well. So after four years on and off relationship, I ended up getting pregnant by him. Well, I ended up getting a, an abortion. And when I told him that I was going to get the abortion, he got so mad at me. And I couldn't understand that because we had already spoke about it. But I went through with it. I got the abortion and he ended up hating me. Wow. Well, yeah. I, I, those guys are the exception to the rule. Most guys would be so <laughs> relieved. Yeah, and I, that's and he's a listener. He listens to you. He got me into you, and that's like I couldn't understand that. I was like, oh my god, like, are you serious? Like, we're so on and off, unstable. We're both like young, and you want to have another child? Like, that was not going to happen. So well, yeah, that's my story, Tom. Susie. Thank you for the story. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. It's like us 101 with your professor. We're taking more calls. We take them faster than ever before. That means even you can get through it. If you don't believe me, try right now. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. Hollywood, the Tom Likas Show. Likas 101, I am your professor, 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Greg on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, how you doing, buddy? Doing okay. I just want to reiterate the fact that you say not to date single uh, single moms. Most definitely. I, uh, I was supposed to go out to dinner with this girl. Pretty good looking girl. I was supposed to go out to dinner with her, went over to her house, noticed her daughter was still there. And uh there was no sitter. There was no you know, it's kinda strange. Her daughter's in the other room getting ready and all this stuff, doing something. I think she's going somewhere. She said, You ready to go? And I said, Yeah, where's your daughter going? She said, She's going with us. And I said, No, no. Uh we're we're no family here and I'm not dating uh your daughter. I'm dating you. And uh, she said, no, my daughter's going with us. I said, no, actually, the only thing you're going to do is go get the food and bring it back here because now I'm not going anywhere. And I'm not paying for, <laughs> not paying for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> How 
How did she react to that? Uh, she, honest to God, she started crying. And she said, I can't believe, you know, you would do this. You look at my daughter, you know, she's getting ready and trying to pull all this crap on me, man, you know. And it's just like the, the excuse of the daughter or the child all the time, too much, you know. That's why, the, that's, that's why I tell you not to date single mothers. And you're absolutely correct, sir, and I'll never do it again. Thank you very much. Thank hey, you. Can you. Can you blow me up? Yes, yes, I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Harry, all the Tom like your show. Hello. Hey Tom, how you doing? Great. Okay, Tom. I don't. I love you. I think you're an incredible person. I take a lot of your what you say into heart. But you know these these guys decide to lay down with the women. They decide to have the intercourse as well. They decide not to wear the condom, so they they do have the responsibility of taking care of that kid. No, they don't. No, they don't. Whether you like it or not, no, they don't. They they absolutely oh, yes, don't. They do. No, actually, they don't. And the law says so. That that's all you're going by is the law. You don't. That's have any it. Morals? Uh, there's nothing immoral about it. If I want to be a parent, I'll tell someone, "Let's have a baby," and then we'll do it together. But uh, if somebody decides to have a baby without my consent, I am not involved. That's their project, not you mine. You are involved. You no, have to I'm start not. paying child support. How, aren't you involved? Right, and, I, and, and, right. and so you do what the law requires, and that's what I would do. You don't think that that baby, is that kid, is ever going to grow up to get to know you? Not my No, I guarantee you it wouldn't happen to me. I, I mean, guarantee I mean, you it would. No, I guarantee you I would, I guarantee you I would not. Support. I guarantee you I would not allow it. Go ahead, interrupt me. Say it again. You, I, oh, you, don't you get wise with me, you a hole. I, I run this show. I'm the boss here. That's why I'm trying you, to. You me. answer to me, and I will interrupt you anytime I please, up to and including hanging up the phone. Hang up the phone, then. Tom. All okay. right, I will. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. This is Gene on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Tom. Yes. I, I had a question, Tom. Um, I'm twenty years old. I'm young, and I've been looking for to see how is it that I can get girls, you know. Um, most of the times when I hear you giving advice out to guys, usually it's to guys that are 21 and over. And I have it well recorded in my head that what you do is you take them to a bar and you get them, you know, three drinks, get them hammered, take them home, and do the lay down dance, you know, but how do I do it? You know, not that I'm, because usually the girls that, are, that I meet are usually my age or down to 18, and I don't go under that. Well, uh, certainly, again, uh, but what do you want to know how to do? You want to know how to attract them, how to get them to bed? What are you trying to do? Uh, how to get them to bed, basically. Yeah, well, uh, we talked earlier uh, uh, to somebody who was uh, having this issue. He, he had met somebody who was 18, and he was 23 or something like that, and he didn't know what to do. And I suggested that uh, good places to go are places that have uh, an atmosphere that might include a bar. You're just not doing anything illegal. Maybe you go to a, maybe you break down and you eat at the Macaroni Grill or El Torito or somewhere like that where people are drinking and it's an atmosphere of partying. Right. You keep it right. short and sweet, and then you get the hell out of there as fast as you can. Okay, so basically just get to where uh, a party atmosphere and try to heat her up, or uh, I don't know, how do you do that? You know. Well, I, I, again, I, I, I suggested that you absolutely do not go to a restaurant that has carafts of Chianti and then uh, drink them at your table and then slide some over to your date. That would be wrong. Right. It would be wrong to smoke weed because that's illegal. So right. don't do that. And uh, certainly, if you are sipping on some tequila and your date says, can I try that? You Absolutely. You must drink responsibly and you cannot share. Right. Because if you right. do, she might get buzzed and then want to go home and have sex with you. Okay. <laughs> right. So right. basically, just keep it sweet. You know, I mean, short, sweet, and to the point to where you just. You know, basically, it's all game, then, right? It's all about game. It's always about game. Right. Right. Okay, Tom. Um, thank you very much. Can you take me out with a screaming orgasm? Yes, Gene, I can. Oh. 
Oh, God. Oh, yes, yes, yes. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Tom on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, you're the man. All I got to say is for all the mientas that called in earlier and saying, I would have a child with a man, and I would never make him pay child of support. What a lying C word. I mean, come on. That's the only reason why that yenta spread her legs was to get knocked up so she could have somebody pay her goddamn mortgage, her car payment, and buy her food so her fat ass could sit at home and watch uh, Oprah. Calling up saying that she would never do that to a man. That's the only reason why that one fat broad called in. I bet you she weighs about 200 damn pounds and nobody wanted to touch her. <laughs> I mean, I got one that's taking my pension. I got another one that's taking four hundred fifty dollars away from me. And the one that's taking my pension, my kids are thirty-one and twenty-seven years old, and they're long gone from the house. I could just <laughs> shoot myself in the penis. Where were you at when I needed you thirty-one years ago? Well, I was doing a radio show, but I don't think I was in L.A. at the time. Uh, no, you weren't. I, I was, but I just can't believe these gentes that are calling in. Oh, Tom. I would never do that. It's like, oh, my God, is that Barbara? That's got to be my, my ex, Barbara, calling in, telling everybody her lie. And do you know how he left me? He left me for another woman. So you're <laughs> damn right, because you stunk, and I got tired of you. So bye. So you get knocked up, and now I'm hooked. Well, well, well. <laughs> Shame on me. Hey, how about a couple of bong riffs, because I can't do it legally, so. Oh, uh, I guess that it would be wrong. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. It's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom. How you doing, buddy? Great. Hey, man. So uh, I've got a story, and uh, it's just uh, insane, and it shows you how manipulative uh, women can be. But a few years ago, I was in school, and I was hooking up with a, a regular, and, and we, I thought, had an agreement that... Uh, you know, it would strictly be uh, platonic uh, sex, and um, she kind of disappeared about a month and a half, two months, and uh, wouldn't return phone calls. And so uh, one day I, I checked my email, and uh, there's about a two-and-a-half-page email about uh, her being pregnant and uh, that she's already gone out and taken care of it. So my initial reaction was, you know, I, yeah, I'm very lucky, first of all, that uh, she did this. But, you know, why would you at least take the, the, the time and courtesy to call and let me know? That's absolutely crazy. So uh, as time goes by, uh, she starts to ask if maybe we can start this thing over. And so I'm thinking, wow, uh, you know, start this thing over. There was never really anything there to begin with. So all right. Well, we are out of time, but I thank you for the call. Another hour. Tom Likas Show.